The wind whispers as it passes through the grass. Clouds float by in a steady stream. Trees loom overhead, their branches outstretched, lending you shade. This is a place of tranquility, an oasis in a desert of chaos. Ditang Gongyuan, or Temple of Earth, was built in 1530. Originally, it was used by the emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasty to worship the god of the earth. Now, most people come here to do things like athletics or just to relax. And it's a great space to do it because of all of these huge, beautiful trees. This one, for instance, is over 300 years old. Ditan Park has 168 of these ancient trees. Many of them are juniper, and they date to be over three centuries old. What's really cool about this area is that you never really see trees like this, unless it's in an ancient temple or some sort of building that's had a very, very long, important history. It makes this space really unique then because it's quiet and it's peaceful. And in a city like Beijing that's constantly busy and chaotic, it's nice to be able to escape somewhere where you can actually hear yourself think. Ditan 你, I first studied Tai Chi when I was in Xi'an for about two months as part of a language program. Since then, I haven't really practiced. So it was really nice for you to teach me a little bit. I really, really appreciate it. But I love Tai Chi because it's, it's like the Chinese version of yoga, essentially. But what's so interesting about it is it's still, in many ways, an ancient martial art. So even though you're doing these very slow, like peaceful moves, it's still uh, a way to do combat. Like the portion where we go like this and this and like that is just a way for you to throw your opponent off and throw him to the ground. Like so many things in China that have so many contrasts, Tai Chi has contrasts too. On one hand, it's slow and relaxed and peaceful, but at the same time, it's still an ancient combat. I hope the audience will be able to learn from him.